So here we are. Conditions are absolutely perfect. So we've just we've just zoomed out to the just out past Woodlands, sort of out in the middle of the lake. Got a spot here I've used before and had a bit of success with. So we're going to sort of focus on here for the next couple of hours. So we're just going to be flicking lures. Um, we're just going to have a bit of a scan around. We're obviously going to use the electronics to our advantage. We've got the um, the Lawrence active target in the water so we're going to use that to just um, assist with finding a bit of structure and um, hopefully we might see a few fish on there as well. Um, so what we're going to focus on, our lures of choice this morning is um, yeah we're sort of just going to toss between some spinner baits and um, I like to also just have a hard body at the ready so we're going to Got to hook up three rods. Um, got a little AC invader here. Had a bit of success with this one. That's just the, the, the 90 mil, um, which is really good for out here. Um, and we've got a couple of spinner baits, so we're just going to mix up the colours a little bit. So we've got a couple of spin rights here. Love me spin right um, spinner baits. So um, we've got a white one here with the finish silver bling, and then we're going to. Um, fit this one around. I haven't opened this one before, so um, so this is a spin right. It's got the one ounce, um, just a single Colorado blade on it. Different colour. The guys, um, the guys from Charlie's at Bendigo got me onto this one. So we're gonna, um, yeah, Justin suggested that I give this one a whirl. So we're gonna get this one out there and um, yeah, try this one out my whaler and. We'll see how we go so we got as you can see um got plenty of timber plenty of timber around here um we're sort of just off to a channel which sort of goes through the main part of the lake so the boat's sitting in about five meters of water now but obviously in amongst this timber here it's sort of sort of around that two to three meters of water so my theory is that the fish are going to be holding pretty tight to that so it's just a case of just making sure we get our lures nice and close to those so um, obviously we're flicking the spinner baits um, really good option to sort of get it out especially with like one ounce heads they're going to die pretty quickly so um, yeah that's going to be our theory so um, yeah it's sort of hit around that seven o'clock mark so we're going to hook these up and get out there and yeah, hopefully we'll get a fish or two. Here we go, first cast. Let's hope it's going to be a good day. Actually seen quite a quite a lot of bait fish just around here, which is really good. Um, see them actually stir them up with that spinner bait going past them, which I can sort of see here on the active target, which is a good sign. So it's very much just trying to get that spinner bait just nice and close to those. Those trees, just giving that spinner bait time to sort of just drop, which I can sort of see on the active target here. Just how close it is getting to the bottom before I need to retrieve it. Being on one ounce, it's um, sinking pretty quick, so we're sort of in two to three metres of water here, so not taking a lot of time to hit the bottom.
yeah very much a case you just sort of just move it nice and slowly here with the Minn Kota at the front and ooh, using the active target to have a really good look underneath see what sort of structure there is won't see any fish sort of on the move so we're also just having a bit of a scan around see if I can see anything on the open so we can see a, quite a bit of bait fish around which is good sort of holding nice and close to this timber Saw a fish in there, I think. It's gone just beside it. There we go. Oh, he's just tapped it. Oh, he had a crack at it. He had a crack at it. Let's see where he had another go at it. I just saw him in there, just in amongst the trees. There's a, just a lay down there. You can't actually see it from the surface, but just on the active target, and he's had a he's had a hit at that. So, let's see if he'll have another bite at it. Just... And as I could see, there was a heap of bait fish in there and I, I just saw him just faintly on the active target. He came up and I basically dropped it pretty well on his head and he turned, he had a go at it, and then let's see if we can see if we can raise him again. Some really good timber. Just along here. You can sort of see that log sticking out. It's heaps of timber sort of just running sort of directly at us here. You can feel that spinnerbait just tapping alongside it. We're just running over it now. right here mm. he's basically underneath the boat here oh there he is there he is there he is Should get out here yep yep and he's taken that on the drop I saw him on the target and he's He's taken that on the drop. I was sort of looking for him. Oh, and he's not a bad fish either. How good's that? Nice, nice. He was just... I saw him just on the, on the scope and it was sort of just last minute. And I threw the lure out and, and I was sort of moving it to sort of try and find him and and you hit it on the drop. Beautiful. Nice one. Excellent. Well, there you go, guys. First cod for the morning. About 30 cast in. And I'm onto a beautiful my whale, a Murray cod. So he's just gone 56 centimetres. Got him on the spin right, one ounce. Thanks to Justin at Trellies and Bendigo for putting me onto that one. So cool bananas. We'll get him back in. Possibly a good fish just out here. About 20 metres out. The spinnerbait's going to drop right on top of him. Mm. 
definitely a fish. It's definitely a fish. He's just sitting there. He's sitting 20 metres out, 15 metres out. Let's see if we can get that past him again. Just going over the top of him now. There we go. Come on, turn, turn. Going over him now. Oh, he's chasing it. Oh, he's chasing it. He's chasing it. Take it, take it, take it. Oh, ho, ho. he's right on it. Take it, take it, take it. Oh, I thought about it. Oh yes, yes, oh he took that, wow, he took that off that twig, oh he's not a bad fish too, he's got a bit of fight about him, lovely, oh yes he's a good fish, good fish, look at that, look at that, that's a beautiful fish, absolutely gorgeous, just took that off that snag. Come on, buddy. Got him. Look at that. How nice is that, hey? Absolutely beautiful. I think you'd be pushing a good 60 odd. Maybe even 70. Good stuff. So there you go, guys. Big chunk of my whaler cod. Just went 76. Got him on the spin right, spinner bait. Thanks Justin again and from Bendigo's trailer, he's put me onto that colour. And it's absolutely produced the goods this morning. So that's two, which I'm absolutely stoked with. So lovely looking Murray cod. Anyway, we'll get him back in. Come on, buddy. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Beautiful fish. Oh, there she goes. Agnes, that. Uh... Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're yet to subscribe, 
please hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the content and we'll see you on the next video guys cheers